In this edition, we're going to unbox the Estes Black Brant 12. There are many unboxing videos for model rockets, but wouldn't you like a real rocket scientist's opinion of the materials and parts in the kit? Today, you'll actually find out the inside information so that you know what to look for when you get a rocket kit. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components, and yes, I am a rocket scientist. Today we're going to unbox the Estes Black Brant rocket kit, um, and this is a scale model, and I'm looking on the side of the box uh, for information about the Black Brant, and basically it's a sounding rocket used by NASA. Uh, sounding rocket means it's a real rocket, and they use it to measure things in high altitude. Um, and it's a four-stage rocket. Um, it consists of the Talos first stage, a Taurus second stage, the Black Brant third stage, and a Nika fourth stage. And I didn't know about that fourth stage. Uh, so let's take a look at it. Uh, first of all, we got this, you know, very colorful box, and it's very durable. Um, on the box, it says that the rocket is 54.6 inches tall. The maximum diameter is 2.22 inches, and it comes with a parachute. And looking on the side, I'm expecting a nylon parachute right there. So I'm going to take my knife, and let's open up. This is the very first time that I'm looking at this rocket, so I'm seeing it along with you. And let's start dumping the parts out and see what comes out. All right. Okay, so that's the empty box. Uh, first off, what I'm noticing is this big, long plastic nose cone. This is beautiful. Uh, man, that thing is at least like 12 inches long. Um, I don't know the diameter off the top of my head, but it kind of looks like a BT-55, uh, which would be about 1.3 uh, inches in diameter, if I'm correct. Um, it doesn't have a loop on the bottom for a parachute, um, so that, you know, normally you could attach a parachute on the bottom. And I'm looking at that one. That one doesn't have a loop either. So, but it's all plastic, so plastic is a little bit heavier. Um, this feels like polystyrene, poly, you know, high-impact polystyrene, which means you can paint it, and the paint will stick without flaking off. This has this other big old blow molded part as well. Um, it's got some raised areas, so I'm thinking that those might be for the fins. Um, again, um, there's no loops on it, so I'm thinking that this part must be cut off. So this is it's probably going to get cut on that line there. Maybe like right here in the middle um, to, for a tube coupler on this. And then another tube up here. And then there's a third piece. Okay, so this is another blow mold. Now this one does have the loop on the bottom for attaching your parachute. So this is probably where the parachute is attached. Um, again, uh, high impact polystyrene. Um, it's got some cut lines right, there's one right there. Um, it looks like there one might be right there, although I'm not sure it's actually gonna cut there. Um, it's kind of weird that this got this little bump down here on the bottom of the parachute uh, loop. I don't know why they put that there, but that's interesting. All right, so next we have uh, body tubes. So this body tube, okay, that's a really beautiful fit right there. I like that on that one. It's the same on that one. That's great. Um, then we have this big tube. This one is lighter in weight. Than that one. This one seems to be a heavy wall tube, where this one's lightweight. Um, this is probably going to go down in the bottom, so you don't want a lot of weight down there. Um, so having a lightweight tube is good. Um, this kind of looks like the mid body, and again, I always like to test the fit to see how easy it is to stay on and off. That again is a good fit. You know, it's not rattling around when it's upside down. Okay, and then there's a duplicate of this one, except it's a little bit shorter. All right, so those are the plastic parts. Uh, the nice thing about plastic is um, 
everything is molded in there. So if there's e details like this, it's already in there. The downside is it can be heavier and you're going to be, a, it's going to be a heavier rocket. So in this bag, looks like a lot of the other parts. Let's open it up. Okay, so the first thing is we have our instruction sheet, and it's pretty heavy. Let's see how many pages it is. Okay, it's one, two, three sheets of paper, so that's 12 pages long. Um, the Estes instructions are really well illustrated. Um, try to get a, this right here is a for fin alignment. Just kind of paging through it real quick. They give you all the parts up here and up here. The what supplies you're going to need is right here. Um, everything that's in the kit. I'm just seeing if anything jumps out at me. Um, there's going to be a lot of cutting involved on the on the plastic parts. It does look like it um, re requires a sanding tee. Uh, which you can get here at Apogee Components. Um, yeah, there's a lot of instructions here. But everything's illustrated pretty good. Uh, here you get a, uh, a paint color scheme, which is really nice. Oop, and a blank page. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, so that's your typical Estes instructions. They're, they're typically really good. Um, I don't have any problems with Estes instructions. Okay, so we got a lot of balsa wood here. We got three sheets. Um, this looks like to be 332nd inch. Um, these look to be 16th of an inch. And this one looks also to be a 332nd inch. Um, so there's, you know, seven sheets of balsa wood here. So I hope you like sanding. <laughs> eight sheets, right? Yeah, eight sheets of balsa wood. Um, yeah, that's, that's nice. Um, and the laser cutting looks exceptional. Nothing wrong with that. All right. Um, then we also have a cardstock centering ring sheet. And again, this is laser cut, and you can see that on the back side where it gets a little bit of um, residue from the laser. Um, it actually bounces. The laser goes through, and it bounces off whatever's on the back, and it causes a little bit of excess. Uh, it's basically soot, um, and it will come off, so you don't have to really worry about that. All right, so this is the plastic parachute that it shows on the box. Um, I do not know how big this plastic parachute is, uh, but it's it's a big one. <laughs> All right, so it's an octagon, and it looks to be almost two feet. Um, yeah, that's a big parachute. Um, and the lines are are nylon lines, and they're sewed on really tight. Um, there's also a seam on the edge to keep it from fraying. Um, it's kind of slick. It's, it's a heavier weight cloth. Um, if I look at it, I'm not seeing that it's ripstop, so it's probably regular polyester. Uh, on ripstop, there would be heavier strings going through it, um, so that if a rip started, it, it would hit the, one of those heavy strings and stop it. Um, but with the uh, seam along the edge, I don't think you're going to have any problems with it uh, ripping. So that's the parachute. They don't pack up as nicely as an Apogee chute. I think it has to go... Okay, so this is the one with the loop on it. So it's going to have to go into this tube. And so we're just going to check the fit. It's not going to be a lot of room, but there's adequate amount of room. And it's going to be kind of tight in there, but it should work fine. <sighs> okay, so here's the small parts bag. And 
And so, ooh, look at this. We've got some plastic fins. So not only are there balsa wood fins, there's plastic fins as well. And these are really nice. They're very skinny. Um, and if you look at the edge, they're actually airfoiled. So the thick part of the fin is actually, I can see it right here. Um, it comes down to a knife edge. And there's this little detail right here um, that sticks out. And then there's a detail along here. So these are, these are beautiful. I like that. And these will also be high impact polystyrene. Um, this is the decal. Um, this rocket, if I look at the box, there's really no decals on it. So these are just kind of Estes advertising. You know, if you put this on your rocket, you know, you're doing a little ad for them. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Um, this is the warranty card. And it also gives you some information on launch site dimensions. You know, how, you know, based on the size of the rocket and the motor, how much uh, area you'll need on your launch site. Uh, this right here is the protective covering for the decals to keep them from getting scratched. Um, in here is clay nose weight. Um, so it's going to require, you know, that much clay inside the nose cone to make sure that it's nice and stable. Um, okay, so we have two quarter inch launch lugs. Uh, these will be glued on the side of the rocket. Uh, so you will need a mid power launch pad to launch this because these are quarter inch. Uh, this is a Kevlar shock cord line and this is braided. Um, it's very nice. Um, it's heavy duty. It's, it's fairly stiff. Um, I've seen softer, but this is not bad. And then you have the traditional Estes rubber elastic shock cord so you don't get snap back. Um, so that's that. And then also in here is, I just realized, uh, this is a 29 millimeter diameter rocket kit. So these tubes are probably also 29 millimeter in diameter. So this is a 29 millimeter retainer. <laughs> Hold on, let me get that. <laughs> okay, so this is a 29 millimeter rocket retainer. That's kind of loose on that one. Yeah. Feels about the same. It's a little bit loose. So what you're gonna have to do is smear epoxy in there uh, to make sure that it stays on. So one of these is the motor mount and one of them is um, probably the part of the Black Brant, the third stage. Um, and it's a two-piece design. So once you get this bonded on, then you'll put your rocket motor in and screw that down. And uh, Estes, um, this one... Yeah, I'm not sure what that ring is for, um, but I'm sure if they included it, they're gonna you're gonna need it in the kit. Um, it might be for mounting the shock cord. Um, it, it's a snug fit on the end of the tube, um, so it's not an engine block because an engine block would be on the inside, and that's on the outside. All right, I think that's it. So this is the Black Brant. 12 from Estes Industries. Again, my name is Tim Van Milligan, and you've been watching Unboxing with a Rocket Scientist. You'll find us on our website, www.apogeerockets.com.